I have a baby now. I'm feeling like a real father right now. Good morning. Welcome to another episode of the old win. Yeah, 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 it's my series, yep. Today's actually a bit of a, kind of a fun day, I'd say. Just a having fun type of day, you know what I mean? So I guess a little backstory, my mom's friend, I said, it's, I think it's a baby shower. We're gonna be heading to Sunset Lanes. Been there before, got <laughs> countless of times. I believe they reserved like a, like a party area upstairs, and uh, of course we got some bowling, so I'm very excited for that, yes. I still have the frying pan fish from a couple days ago, so I wanna finish that up. Besides that, you know, nothing really else in the books. Wanted to talk about last night really quickly. Very interesting that one thing I didn't notice, obviously last night I was singing Hopelessly Devoted to You. There was a, a last note. The last note at Hopelessly Devoted to You is, I believe, an F5. Um, and Brock Lesnar also did this. It's a WWE joke. I hit it in falsetto, but I feel like it was more than that because it was very powerful. I don't know. I don't know what it was. Nicely placed and everything. I think I might have done a little bit too much vibrato, but you know what? It, it is what it is. Sorry about all the bar content recently, guys. Uh, this week I won't really be doing much of that. Uh, this coming week at least. So I get it. If you guys are sick of it, I understand. I will be working on leaning away from that. In a video standpoint, it's just really easy to edit. Whenever I get to the bar and stuff, it's like, you know, I have to record a couple of like little clips here and there just for the little montage or whatever. I don't really have to record much. I don't have to focus on making it like uh, about the video as bad as it sounds. You know, I, I don't have to make it about like the video. I just have to make it about singing. And for the most part, I don't really do that many cuts with my singing parts. So not only is it easy to edit, but also each of the songs are like, let's say three to four minutes long. So, you know, the runtime is definitely up there. I'm hopelessly devoted to you. Hopelessly devoted to you. Hopelessly devoted to you. Not your dad. That's not all you want from me. Not you want your company. I didn't stop you. Old news to be exact. baby now. I'm feeling like a real father right now. I know what the title is. <laughs> Had a jolly good old time with the people over there. Just kind of chill. There was a baby shower, so you know, just enjoyed it. Whatever. I just realized, right? So obviously, this is the the new car now. This, you know, we, we're done with rentals. I figured that I should probably just start putting stuff in here now. Putting the usual stuff that I usually put here, and I could also put the stuff that I uh, that I have in my in my closet that belong in the car. I can put that in the car. W is in the chat, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, tonight, what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get ready, like pack some stuff for the for the shoot uh, on Tuesday and Wednesday. I was looking at the dress code stuff, and they said that uh, the best idea or, or the best outfits that you should be wearing going into a into a photo shoot is uh, is black, all black, just to look professional, I guess. So we'll follow that direction. Probably gonna take a nap here just so I can kind of rejuvenate a little bit. Tonight might actually be the night where I sleep early, guys. Please be proud of me. Ladies and gentlemen, heading home now. Took a quick little nap because uh, his brother's tired. I remember when we broke up the first time. Said I had enough. Cause like, I haven't seen each other in a month. Said you needed space. What? I'm telling you, I'm telling you, we are never, ever, ever getting back together. We. Uh, uh, and you, who, and you? Feeling like P. Diddy, what are these songs? Brush my teeth with a bottle of Jack Cause when I leave for the night, I ain't coming back oh, I have a sore throat, alright, I, I can't hit these notes If you want it, girl, come and get it All this is here for you uh, Alright, as we're enjoying this, uh, hold on, I'll show you guys I'll show you guys what I'm enjoying. Mango float in a cup. As we're enjoying a mango float in a cup, I want to check out this weather because it seems to be really strong. All right, 
I guess this weather's not that deep, I guess. All the red and yellow, yep, going north. There should have been, like, this big wall of red coming towards us, but right now, everything just kind of weakened, and then all the red is going up north, so. Either way, I'm gonna be enjoying this. While we do some lessons, Mango Float's probably one of the best things ever created. I was just kind of reviewing my clips, right? I think I mentioned this this morning. At the end of Hopelessly Devoted to You, there's this, like, F5 of a falsetto. This was perfectly placed, I think. It's like, listen, listen, listen. Ooh, that was sick. It sounded very strong, so it might have been more than a falsetto. It might have been head voice, but who knows. Oof. It's such in like that high range, and I'm very comfortable with a falsetto like that, so it's like... Beautiful, beautiful. We're done with the orientation part. Now we're gonna kind of look into this whole um, social media influencer slash social media stuff since it talks a little bit about call to action. I, I have a couple of descending opinions about it. So it says right here, okay, let me read this real quick. I think on most businesses related Instagram posts, you'll see a great initiative. Not all CTAs are the same. Yeah. Here are 13 interesting and usable call to action. All right, here we go. Tease your followers. Posting teasers before introducing the actual products is an effective marketing strategy. It keeps the audience guessing Thus, they will be able to anticipate what's cooking. Nice. If you're so mad. That's a horrible angle. Yeah, this makes sense. I do this a lot. Teaser cliffhanger a little bit. I remember for Project 50, I did this kind of thing where I posted like a me with like the new haircut and stuff. At the time, the new fresh haircut was new because I had long hair the longest time. So whenever I posted that, I knew that it was going to get a lot of likes. So I decided I was like, you know what? We're going to tease something. We're gonna tease product 50, and I did. The best way to convince your followers to buy your product or use your service is to make them understand why they need it. Yeah, just being called a salesman, pretty much. Engage your followers to tag their friends. <laughs> this is like on the level of like, make sure to share this video with all your friends. Words or phrases such as buy now, click on, subscribe to, register now, and the like. Yeah, I guess. That makes sense, but you guys already know how I feel about call to action. Create a sense of urgency. That's what a lot of the interest industry is nowadays, where like everything's pretty much limited time only. Oh, once it's gone, it's gone forever. And then half the time people would like bring the same product back. It's like, bro. Focus on you statements. The aim of call to actions is to get someone to take action and make them feel like you're actually talking directly to them. Yeah, that makes sense. Splash some colors. That's literally just YouTube clickbait. Yeah. Look at all these colors. It wasn't a coincidence that his last to leave circle wins $500,000. And if you guys have seen that thumbnail, it's got colors everywhere. It entices the little kids, you know what I mean? Either way, that's about it for this video, y'all. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm gonna do more of this whenever I have time. I'm gonna go to bed after I edit. I think we're done for the night. Thank you guys so much for watching. Appreciate y'all. Y'all have a good night. Love and peace. <laughs> Love and peace. <laughs>